Hi everyone! I got this bunny cutout from Hobby Lobby along with this stencil. I decided to use some joint compound to give definition and depth to the stencil that I was going to apply to the bunny. Once I figured out where I wanted my stencil, I used some painter's tape to help hold it in place while I applied the joint compound. Once the first area was done, I simply lifted the stencil and moved it around the bunny, trying to position where I wanted the next sections. Before I moved on to the ears, I wiped off any excess joint compound, then applied the stencil to the ears, finished adding the remaining joint compound, and let it dry. Once it was dry, I used folk art chalk paint in the color sheepskin and covered the entire bunny and let that dry. Moving on to my next color, I used Waverly Antique Wax and started to apply it to the bunny. I realized I used too small of a brush, moved on to a larger one, and made sure to wipe each section with a paper towel before it dried. Once the wax was dry, I spritzed the bunny with a spray bottle and started wiping off more of the antique wax. Once I removed a lot of the wax, I went back and used the same color, sheepskin, and did a dry brush method over the entire bunny. I did have some areas that were a little heavier than others, and I did that on purpose.
As that coat of paint started to dry, I took a pom-pom, the Waverly wax, dipped my fingers into the wax, and rubbed it onto the pom-pom to give it a little more dimension. To add more distressing to the bunny, I used Folk Art Chalk Paint in rich black, used a small paintbrush, painted the edges, and smudged it with my finger. I then moved on to making a bow for his neck out of some cute carrot ribbon I got from Michael's and hot glued it in place. I got this spring sign out of a pack of three from the Dollar Tree and using E6000 glue with a combination of hot glue, I placed it on the bunny. After gluing on his cute fluffy little tail, I decided that something was missing, so I took some green ribbon that I got from Walmart and glued it underneath the carrot bow to give him a little something extra. I love how super cute this bunny turned out and I hope you do too. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye!